Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome to viewers to some more Stormworks. Today, we're gonna be building a helicopter. So let's get started. All right, we're in the workbench here. And I think the first thing we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna build the engine for this and then we're gonna build the helicopter around it. I think that'd be the safest thing rather than trying to build the body of this and then trying to cram an engine in here that will actually make this thing lift and work. Uh, so that's gonna be our plan today. And I want this to be a big helicopter. So we're gonna use our big engines here. Uh, so we're gonna go with the three by threes. Make sure we have mirror mode on. Uh, that's gonna help us out quite a bit here. We'll do this, do this. And I think this this should be enough. I, I'm hoping this is enough uh, for our helicopter here. Uh, we shouldn't put too much stuff on it, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna need our clutch on the back. That's fine there. And I'm gonna do something a little different here. I'm gonna add a flywheel, the front here, and then we're gonna add our belt drive. Uh, and what this will actually do, and it doesn't matter, you can put the flywheel on either end, but it, it actually fits a little better here and it gives us some more room at the back here. Um, but what this is actually gonna allow us to do is if something were to happen, say the engine cuts out or we get struck by lightning, the props are still gonna spin because they have RPS from the flywheel and that should hopefully give us enough time to regain control of our vehicle. All right, so that's good there. Let's go ahead and get ourselves some starters. It's a big engine, we wanna turn this thing on. So you know what, we're not gonna be using it, this for anything else, not gonna be using it for pumps or alternators. So we'll go ahead and put starters on all of those just to really turn this thing over. Uh, might struggle because we got the flywheel there, so it might need an actual couple of uh, rotations to get this spooled up. Uh, next, I'm gonna do uh, coolant because that's what I always like to do first because it takes up so much space here. Uh, so we're gonna come in here and go do, do, whoops, do, do, do like that. Uh, we'll put our coolant on top, so we need radiators. We'll use the electric fan ones, turn these around so that they fit nice and snug. Perfect. Pumps. And it looks like we're going to have a little bit sticking over the edge here. That is okay. Turn these around. We'll have complete rotation. And I think, hang on, let's see. A, A. So it goes, these are backwards. I don't think this really matters, but my OCD is telling me that it does. All right, so there we go. Now all the flow is going the way it should. Let's go for some, go for some pipes. And we'll hook these up like so, perfect. And then we'll come do the same thing here. We'll get those hooked up there and we'll hook these up. Let's rotate that. And now we can just connect all of these. Simple enough. Okay, so coolant is done. Um, starter coolant. We're gonna need some air, some fuel. And the RPS to come out the back. Okay, so let's get air. Let's get air taken care of. And I think what we'll do is we'll do air here. Let's get a big old pump. Really push some air into our system here. Oh, how does that look? Uh, what if we flip this and do it like that? Uh, that actually, I think, looks a little bit better. Um, and then we can come straight into this piece here. All right, and we grab ourselves a pipe. Uh, let's go. Let's keep it snug. Let's go this way with it. And then we'll turn it and then go straight back. Uh, uh, we don't have that pipe yet. There we go. All right, so air is hooked up. Let's get a nozzle here for that. We'll just use a simple air filter. Perfect. Um, exhaust. I think we can just do exhaust right there. Let's also do fuel while we're thinking about it. Uh, fuel, we'll turn this around. There is fuel. Let's go ahead and just stick a pipe right there so we understand where we're going with it. And exhaust can just kind of go back like that for a second. All right, now let's get into our RPS here. Uh, we're gonna need to elbow this up and we've got room underneath. So maybe we'll put our microcontroller down here and we'll put our generator parts. Okay, so we need pipes and I'm gonna split the difference here. We're gonna go up and we're gonna go down with this. Uh, let's go ahead and go up first. And I just wanna bend it back and then we'll bring it all the way like so. Come on, do, 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 do. perfect. Uh, and this might have to change because of our uh, our weight differences as we build our helicopter, but we've got plenty of room to work with here. Uh, gearboxes, uh, I'm just gonna put three. I don't think I'll need three, but I'm gonna add three just so they're there and the space is being used. Uh, from there, let's see, we're gonna go back down. We'll elbow under, I'll grab my gearboxes. We're gonna do three more again. One, two, three. And then we're gonna grab a gin. We're gonna slap a generator on the back of this. And this should be pretty easy to do, which we'll do three one on all these. 
and then when it needs it that generator will kick on it'll spin just as fast as it can go charge the battery super quick and then cut off and then we're back to using our power uh from here we're gonna need another rps line and this line will go out and this will be our back prop so i think for now what we'll do is we'll come back to this uh exhaust here uh we'll slap a couple cats on it and then an exhaust port we can call that done uh fuel now needs to be assessed and i think if we can tuck fuel up in here this would be great i'm thinking something like that actually yeah something just like that would be perfect for the fuel uh and this is going to be a heavy lift helicopter uh so should we do two more like that i think that's what we need to do uh so let's connect all these together now we'll connect that let's see let's make the uh we'll go ahead and make the turn here and we'll go up and then here we'll need a different piece it's one of these little corner pieces here this one here pipe corner angle something and we can go like that then we can come straight back to there and we can connect to this pipe so now our fuel is connected we've got four tanks 705 liters each so 14 and 14 oh man quite a bit 28 almost 3,000 liters of fuel for this uh it's quite a bit quite a bit uh, so then we can come up in here. Uh, we've got some more of our weight figured out here. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab a corner piece. We can find one. There we go. Slap that there. We'll come up a little bit, give it some distance away. Uh, that'll also give us some uh, block building distance there. Let's go to our props. We're going to be using the large rotors. And it'd be good to go here. We'll just plop that down like that. Uh, I don't like even blades. Uh, so we're going to actually make this one a five bladed one uh and you know what? we'll keep it where it is for now uh that gives us a good idea of how long this piece needs to be i'm gonna grab another one there and we'll stretch that out and we'll bring it out a little bit more there and i think honestly it needs to come up so for the sake of this we'll do this we'll just build like that for a second and we'll get our rotor tail here and I think that's the height that we need to be at. We kind of need to be on the same level as the actual main prop here. And I think, I think that'll do it right there. Uh, so we can get rid of this. Uh, all of this is going to have to change, but we'll leave it. We'll leave it like that for now because we need to clear this prop. And as we build things, we'll be able to figure out what it is we actually need to do. Uh, we can make this look a little prettier. We need to grab a couple pipes here. Pipes. Yes, let's do that. Pipes. One there, one here, and that's all connected up. Perfect. Okay, so I feel like I'm forgetting something. Batteries. Let's figure out where all this weight can be distributed at. And I think we've got room in here for batteries. Do we? Do we have room in here for batteries? Can we make room in here for batteries? Yes. Let's do that. We'll put our batteries in here. I don't think we need more than two, not for this. If we do, we've got the space here to kind of pl whoops, to plop another one in, and that'll be fine. And we'll get rid of all of that coming along nicely it's a little it's a little boxy but i think it will work for us um once we start building out the helicopter and we've got room oh we've got all this room under here we can have passengers things like that this this will be good this will be good uh let's go back and check our parts ah we gotta uh we gotta connect the sides together that was i always tend to forget this this is uh this is one that's very important here and what we can do is now that i'm seeing this we've got to change this up a little bit so we'll move this over not a problem because we can just do like this and snake back around there we go and now we can take our manifolds and we can connect these together and now both sides are connected and they can share fuel air exhaust and whatnot uh that gives us a little room here for our microcontroller which is perfect uh, let me go grab that I right, got the microcontroller and it looks like all oh, it fits nice right there. That is perfect. Nice and snug. And we've got a couple other places here where we can kind of uh, put a couple other microcontrollers. We got a nice long spot there. Uh, we got a two by two here. Uh, so yeah, that's actually quite nice. Uh, we actually get one in here too. Uh, one by four. Uh, lots of room here to uh, hide some stuff. Plus whatever we can get in here. Look, a nice long uh, microcontroller there. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, we need to put some in here too. We could, we can get in there a one by two nice nice little spots there to hide some stuff even up on top here we could do here put a couple controllers there if we needed all right cool uh let's see let me hook this thing up uh, i'm not gonna crank this thing up today because it's 
we're nowhere near ready uh, but uh, we can get everything hooked up so I'm gonna come down to composite because I always forget composite so we're gonna do that first so we'll do composite uh, we want to do composite data straight into the cylinder there and this one that goes out goes to another microcontroller which actually uh, runs a screen so we're not gonna hook that up today but we'll do that on another day uh, so we're good there uh, let's go to our regular data and start hooking some of the stuff up so we've got clutch clutch can go to clutch easy enough generator clutch oh you know what okay not a problem not a problem not a problem um i can slide this down one that still doesn't give us enough room here okay so this has got to move here we've got to get an actual clutch in here we'll cut this we'll rotate it sideways maybe this is how we'll do it and we'll stick it kind of like right there off to the side it's a little weird but uh it does give us more room on this other side for something and i'm sure we'll figure it out here shortly all right so let's let's hook it all back up let's merge it so it's a little easier to work with here there we go pipe great pipe let's go and we're good to go there now what i could actually do and i think i will use this space here on this side we'll get ourselves a hose connector and we'll flip that right there so we have something matching on the other side here and then we'll just tap right into our fuel line here and we actually have a refuel line uh, so we'll do this out of here we'll grab a T section is it one lower it is not one lower so we need to actually hoop around here all right so we got that let's uh let's angle back yeah and this needs to come out one so we'll do it like that like this and connected so now we can fuel up all these tanks actually these sides are not connected let's do this let's make sure these are connected I'm finding all kinds of things as we're hooking the microcontroller up so that's good that's good. We're uh, we're problem solving here, and we we'll do mirror mode again. Connect those up, and then now all fuel is connected. Uh, so as soon as we fuel up from here, it'll fill up all the tanks. Uh, maybe not full because they've got this weird little air bug, but yeah, we'll fill them up. Uh, so that's good there. Uh, nice, nice. Okay. Uh, so what we've got? We've got exhaust. We've got fuel. We've got a way to refuel. Uh, while I'm doing this, let's go ahead and do a cable. Let's go ahead and make a way to and you know what we'll put it on the other side here with the actual generator this will be our recharge port so there we go that fits perfectly there so we can just kind of you know what here we'll do it even better dial we'll have a dial right here that will allow us to see how much fuel we have while we're filling up i can just spin this around the right way there we go fuel fuel and i think i said 20 28 Something like that, roughly, give or give or take. Uh, so sweet. There we go. All right. So back to hooking things up. Uh, let's see. Generator clutch. Oh, we still didn't put. I just still didn't put a clutch in there. Did I have room for it though? I do have room for it. Okay. So we'll put a clutch. Slap that in there. We'll come back. We'll get our generator to generator clutch. Fuel manifolds. We'll go to fuel manifolds. Easy enough. Air manifold goes to air manifolds. We want the battery charge you can just grab either one uh so i can find one here battery charge and that just reads the battery so that when the battery gets low it will kick on the actual generator and run that for you uh so i need another rps here i don't want it off the flywheel i want it off the actual engine there we go and throttle i don't have a throttle yet uh we'll go ahead and throw one on here i guess we're actually cranking this thing up today we're getting close might as well uh so we'll slap a throttle here and then I'll need a button. We'll get a toggle. There we go. And then we can just move this when we need to. All right. So we'll take that. Uh, this signal will turn on our pumps here. It'll turn on this here. It will turn on all of our pumps and fans. So we'll hook all of those up so that when the engine's on, these turn on and then the radiators turn on as well. Okay. That should be good there. All right. And then from the microcontroller, we go to the starters. We'll hook up all of those and then we need a throttle goes to throttle and that should be everything connected here uh let's double check do 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 check a composite composite and there's no video anything else on there cool uh so we are actually done here uh let me put a breaker on here we'll go ahead and establish this and that's always always upside down i feel like I should we do it sideways does that make sense sideways is a breaker breakers usually are sideways uh it doesn't matter let's just 
I'm getting too carried away here. Okay, there's the breaker. We'll just use it like a regular switch. All right, so power comes from our battery. So we'll connect our batteries together and then we'll come straight into side A of the electric and then we'll go to B and then this is where we hook everything up. Do, do. All right, almost done hooking everything up here. I think everything's done. Everything looks good. Yeah, and I did not hook up the generator. So the generator, we're gonna actually tend we're gonna go straight to the battery with that. And the reason I do that is if something happens to like where this breaker gets cut off or your engine, you cut everything off on your engine and you still have RPS turning, there's a good chance that this can still run. Uh, so actually I need to run the clutch to that as well. So the clutch can turn on too. Did I just mess things up? Come on, there we go. Okay, so that, that should keep that running with that system for just, a, you know, maybe a few seconds could be the difference in, uh, restarting your engine next time or not. So that is all done. And I feel like we're good to go here. Honestly, we could start this thing up. Now I don't have any control, so this thing will probably just go haywire, but let's go ahead and give it a go. So we've got our breaker. Okay. Engine's on. Oh, okay. It's a death machine. All right, but it is running. It is running. So that's good. Um, I give it more power. Yeah, look at it. Yes, there it goes. Nice. Okay, so it runs. That's great. Back prop is running. Do we have any collisions here? I don't think we have any collisions. No, we're perfectly fine, perfectly far away. And it sounds like it's actually running really good. So I'm actually super excited about this. And it didn't take any time at all to crank up, which is another nice thing. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, this is a helicopter engine for you guys. Uh, next episode, we'll be hooking up some more control services for it, uh, getting things working, adding a pilot seat, maybe doing a little bit more decorations and stuff. So yeah, if you want to see me do more on this build, make sure you throw a like on this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And yeah, we'll see you next time with some more helicopter.